Your family are those that gather around you in your life, not connected by blood or race, but by energy and essence. They bring unconditional love and support at the perfect times, and understand and share the same mission and purpose. For you, I'm grateful. We are one. The soul family structure is the way whole societies across the enlightened universe are organized, and it's the key to create a harmonious society. Soul families are groups of beings of similar origins and soul structure, connected on a soul level. Several decades ago, members of the resistance movement were given instructions for soul family resonance. The purpose was to harmonize their relationships. They were not reluctant to do so, and it took them four to five years to transform their society. By following the instructions, and through inner and society work, they managed to create a society without conflicts. These same instructions will now be given to the surface population of the Earth. The surface population will be going through the same process of restructuring. It is time to start this process. The current population on the surface of Earth is very disconnected and fully controlled. By the matrix, the basic understanding of connection on the surface has been very distorted. The movie, The Matrix, shows quite precisely what is happening on planet Earth. Every individual protects the matrix of the planet, just like what Miss Smith do in the movie. Everyone is an agent of the matrix. Everyone. People have internalized their enslavement because the matrix is constructed in such a way that it is risky to break free from it. You get into trouble. Basically, an individual has two options. The first option is to stay. In the matrix, you are born. At the age of four, you go to kindergarten. At age seven, go to school. At age twelve, go to college, then university, etc. Then you get a job. You marry at the age of twenty-seven, and have children. Eventually, you retire, and you die. At the age of seventy-two, you get vacations and have some free time on Saturday. When the kids are in bed, the whole process is exactly designed so that you know what to do, and to say, and how to behave. Most people choose this option because, in a way, it is safe and comfortable. It is convenient, but not really healthy. You become unhappy, depressed, and sick. You feel empty inside. You ask yourself, "What am I doing here?" Option two is breakthrough. You break through the programming. In the short term, it is hard. In the long term. It is very rewarding. However, the matrix reacts. It will try to do anything to hold you back and push you down. You will be controlled by your partner, your children, best friends, even your pets. They are all programmed to control you. However, each time you do something else outside the programming. 
you break free a little. First, there is pain, but when you break through, you expand your sphere of availability more and more. This creates options, and the connection with your true inner self expands. Therefore, either we listen to our fears and pull back, or conquer our fears and go forward. The key here is to change. There will be a small group of pioneers among us that will break free and go this path of change. They will create bubbles of heaven. Through Cobra's entry protocols blog post, it became clear for the resistance movement that nobody on the surface was ready for this. Some of the entry protocols will be used to prepare you for the cultural shock that will happen when you actually meet a member of an extraterrestrial race. For instance, the Pleiadians are different species. Meeting one of them will give a shock, and people may freak out. The situation after publishing of the entry protocol blog made that clear. Even the ones that thought they were ready were not. Reading a blog is easy, and you may dream of a ship landing on your premises. But when a ship It's truly landing in your backyard. It is quite another story, let alone interacting with a member of an AT race and their societies. There are 350 people in this workshop. Only a small percentage will go through the whole process. Others will follow a step-by-step -step approach. During the event, they will be the ones. That will have to face ultimately what they have been denying. They will need to look at the illusion of reality, and how we have been manipulated by the media, the financial systems, everything. That will be challenging, but it is also the easiest part. The second level is to realize the existence. Of other intelligence, extraterrestrial life, and being presented with that life. Thus, accepting this as real, not as just something fictitious portrayed in books and movies. This will shatter belief systems. The third level is learning about how much darkness there was on the planet. And what has been hidden, for example, child abuse, what has happened, and the amount of sufferings it has caused. The next level after the event is that people will have to get face to face with their sexual energy. Manipulation of sexual energy is the basis of the matrix, and will be the hardest part for the surface population. To deal with, everyone has to go through these levels. The process is already ongoing. Will culminate at the event and continue after the event. The key to stabilizing this process is to start gathering in soul families.